In this video, we're going to show you how to get an e-commerce site set up in under 10 minutes using the free Quick Starter plugin from A12 Web Design. We put these packages together because people really like the flexibility of using WordPress, but sometimes had a harder time getting started because it doesn't have as smooth an onboarding process as something like Shopify or Wix. Hopefully by using this package, you'll be able to get your site set up just as quickly, but you'll also have the flexibility to expand and change it using WordPress as your backend later on. To get started, you should have a WordPress site already installed using whatever hosting company you'd like. Then head to the A12 Web Design website and click the Get the Plugin link. Next, log in to your WordPress dashboard and head to the Plugin section. Click on the Add New button and then Upload Plugin. Select the file that you just downloaded and then Install Now. The plugin contains code necessary to download and install three themes and a number of plugins that are perfect for any e-commerce website. After the plugin's installed, click on the Activate Plugin button, and that should automatically download the themes and plugins to your website. The plugin is meant to be used on a new WordPress install, so please make sure you don't have any content that you don't want to get overwritten before activating this plugin. Once the plugin's activated, you'll see all the steps necessary for the install process. First up, we're going to select the theme that we want to use on our website. You've got three options, Keep Calm and Ecom, Guten Shop, and Ecommerce Hub. And for this video, we're going to select Guten Shop. You can also set the colors for your theme. So for this one, we're going to set the headings color to blue. Next, click on the Save and Continue button. On this page, you get to set the page content for your site. There are a number of pages that get automatically created, such as the uh, WooCommerce shop page, my account page, and cart pages, so you won't see those here. And there's also a home page that's automatically created, um, but you'll have to edit the content for that later. For the individual pages, you can set whatever content you'd like, and there are some pages which are optional, such as the About Us page down below. Uh, where you can see a checkbox on the left hand side. If you unselect that checkbox, then you won't end up with an About Us page. Once you're done, click on the Save and Continue button, and you should now have those pages uh, automatically created on your website. The next step in the installation process is where you set up WooCommerce. WooCommerce is the e-commerce plugin we're going to be using on our website. It's sort of the backbone for any e-commerce site, so it does take a little bit longer to set up than some of the other steps in this process. Make sure you set up your store location, your currency, and whether you're going to be selling digital or physical goods, and you can either keep the usage tracking button checked or uncheck it. Next, select how you want to receive payments. Put in your payment email if you're going to be using PayPal. Um, or any other information. There's also other payment gateways that you can find more information on through the WooCommerce website. And then after that, we're done with our WooCommerce setup for the moment. We'll be creating products as a last step, so we will see a bit more for, about WooCommerce right at the end of this video. The next step in the setup process is where we're going to set up the status and order tracking plugin, which lets visitors track the status of their order. We don't need to make any changes on this step, and you know we've got no products that we've sold yet, so there's no need to create an order at this time. The next step in our setup process is where we create our FAQs. Um, FAQs, or frequently asked questions, are questions you get often from your customers, and so by creating a section, you can help answer your customers' questions more quickly, and also save yourself some time since you're not replying to the same questions over and over again. So the first step in this process is creating different FAQ categories. Um, so for us, we're going to create sizing and shipping question categories. And so any questions related to sizing or shipping will go into those categories. After that, we're going to do the individual questions and answers. Um, so here we started off with where do you ship to? And our answer is we offer shipping to any address in North America. Um, and since this is a shipping related question, we put it into the shipping category. Next, we'll create a second question. What is your return policy? 
Uh, I'm sure as a store owner you get this question a lot, so hopefully by creating an FAQ about it, uh, people can find the answer themselves and no longer have to contact you directly about it. Since this one isn't related to shipping or sizing, we're just going to add it as an FAQ uh, with no category. All right, and so after that, we'll create three more FAQs just to fill out our FAQ section, and we'll speed the video up here just a little bit um, until we move on to our next step in the process. Okay, after you've finished creating your FAQs, scroll down the page and click the Save and Continue button. This brings up the last step in our process, where you're going to set up your contact form. By default, you've got four fields, name, email, subject, and question. You can change the labels for any of those fields or add additional fields. And then once you're done that, click on the Save and Finish Setup button. That's it for the mandatory steps in the setup process. On this page, we see a number of optional final steps. Um, so since this is an e-commerce website, we're going to create some products. The plugin we're using to create products is called WooCommerce. It's one of the most popular plugins for creating an e-commerce store, and it's used on over a million websites. Um, so we're going to create four different products. To do that, all you have to do is have a product name, a description, a price, and an image. Uh, and really, the image, the price, and description are optional, but it makes a lot of sense to have those for your products. In this video we're setting up a virtual clothing shop, so I'm going to create four different products, two for t-shirts, two for button-down shirts, um, and I'm going to add prices, pictures, and descriptions for each of them. Uh, again, I'll speed up the video a bit until we get to the end of creating those four products. But it's pretty straightforward, so that's creating one product right there, it takes about 30 seconds. Um, you can do the same thing for all of your products. Alright, and that's about it for creating our products. Uh, it takes about two minutes at normal speed, so you can see how easy it is to create products using WooCommerce. Um, if you've got the information already available in a spreadsheet, the thing you're going to wait for the longest is uploading the photos of the products, so it's really very fast. Um, and now we're looking and we can see what our shop looks like. At the front there you see the products we created, you can see our frequently asked questions, what we've got. Um, and then we'll look at our shop page where you can see all of our products listed with their prices. You can change how they're sorted uh, and if you have more products they'll all be listed there as well. Here's our contact form. From there we can close that tab and go back and see if there's anything else we want to do. Um, because we're using WordPress, you know, we're able to change any of the settings we want on our plugins, on our page content, change the content. Here we're going to turn the comments off on our FAQs because we don't want people commenting on them. Just click Save Changes, and now if we go back to the front of the website, see there's no longer a comment box on each of the FAQs. Alright, and the last thing we'll do is we'll just show you how to edit one of the pages, um, just so you can see how easy it is. So go to the Pages section, and then click on the page you want to edit. Um, we're going to do the About Us page. You can click on the content area, you can highlight it, delete it. Uh, what we'll do is we'll just enter, press Enter and, and create a new paragraph underneath. Um, you know, in case you want to add, say, a sizing chart, you can put that in below and then you can add a file so people can see your sizing chart. Uh, and so that's about all there is to it. Uh, in this video we showed you how to get your store set up online to do e-commerce in under 10 minutes. Um, you get all the flexibility of WordPress without having to figure out which plugins or themes you need and having to figure out how to configure those yourself. I hope you enjoyed it.